All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Dave. I am Senior Director of Technology, Engineering, and Operations at WAG. Um, and I'm going to talk about um, some cool customer service stuff that we've done. First of all, let me tell you about WAG. Uh, so we're an on-demand sitting, uh, walking, sitting, and boarding platform. Uh, launched in 2015. We do over a million walks per year. Um, we're in over 100 cities. And we bring happiness to dogs and their pet parents. So we had a challenge. Um, we really need to reduce our, the load on our CS department. It's been you know, growing with the growth of our business. Um, some of that is because we had pretty inefficient call flow and routing. Um, just your, your, your standard IVR, um, the, after, after you get through where you need to be, um, we had kind of a weird um, you know, verification process that required, um, it's a, kind of a typical thing we've all been through, right? You call customer service, you tell them this long story about like, what, what's, what the problem is, like, give little anecdotes, and, and you know, about a minute in, they're like, OK, that's great. Now I need you to verify yourself, so please tell me this. And for us, it was your, your name and your email address. So kind of a hard thing to communicate over the phone. So you get through that, your 20 character long Gmail or Yahoo or whatever address. Then you, you, know, you switch context, so is, so is the, the, the agent, and they ask you what you're calling about again. So now you're just like, OK, well, all right, I'll tell you again, but here's the short version. But you're about, you're about a minute or two in. Um, a, a, lot of, a lot of the calls we looked at were, were two minutes of this process. Um, then you know, also, a lot, of, a lot of times, customers are calling about things that they can actually accomplish in the application. They just don't know how to get to it, or it's confusing, or it's a, it's a weird flow. And then people are just slower than computers. So we use a bunch of existing technology for this. Uh, we use uh, Zendesk as our CRM. Um, we also use Zendesk Talk, which ha had a really basic IVR um, functionality, pretty, pretty poor um, queuing, um, limited integration opportunities even with, with Zendesk, um, and it's just really expensive. You're paying uh, per seat licensing for every agent and per minute Twilio pass-through charges for, for all the calls. So connect Lex and Lambda to the rescue. We brought in AWS Connect, started playing with it. Um, for those of you who haven't played with it, it's a very easy to use GUI interface um, that you can use to basically build out a full call center as a service. Um, it's, deep, it's deeply integrated with the whole AWS infra ecosystem, um, including Lambda, Lex, S3, CloudWatch. Um, it does intelligent routing. There's no commitment. You literally like, can st start up for free. You click a button. You get a phone number. You can start sending calls to it, building out call plans. Super easy to use. And it's, it's actually fun to be able to, to, to deploy something that works so well so quickly. Um, and then it, really great Zendesk integration. It's got the soft phone, just like Zendesk Talk, that works right in Zendesk. So we, we came up with this idea for a Bell of the Friendly Pup. Um, basically, Bell of the Friendly Pup was our proof of concept. Um, it, a super quick, like literally, it was like one or two days, started working on it, delivered, delivered at day three. The, the flow was you would call into AWS Connect. Um, you get a voice. Um, you, lam a Lambda function looks you up through our API, does a data dip. Um, Bella greets the, the customer. And in our proof of concept, we had them greet the customer by first name, which is a little creepy. So we, we took that out in the final, in the final product. But um, basically said, hello, I'm Bella the Friendly Pup. Thanks for calling WAG. How can I help? Um, and then we taught her, just in the proof of concept, just a few different um, utterances that she would understand for different intents. Um, one of those was wanting to book a walk or cancel a walk. Um, the proof of concept really worked. You could actually call in, um, book a walk, you would get a notification like instantly on your, on your device that you booked that walk. Um, and then you could call back and cancel that same walk. And it would also notify you, say, oh, I see you cancel a walk. Um, we, we sent the number around to all the different C-suite folks. And they tested it out. And obviously, well, not obviously, but they all have WAG accounts. Um, and so they were able to like, book walks through, the, through the, 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 the proof of concept, which was awesome, right? I mean, literally, one from one day to the next, we went from, from nothing to a, a working system to, to something that was in production. Um, hidden, we didn't send it to anyone else. So we decided, OK, that's great. Um, let's bring that actually into production. So we figured out um, you know, what are the actual pieces that we need for this. And then so we started building that new, um, that new uh, uh, Connect setup in a, in, a, in a new account on our organization. Um, provision new numbers for the various entry points so our, our walkers and our owners get different numbers to call in from. Um, Set up a, a VPC NAT gateway um, so we could lock down our, um, our Lambda functions so that they would only come from, from those two IPs on those di different availability zones. And then we began testing. Um, so here's kind of the infrastructure. Um, basically, we had um, the, a bunch of Lambda functions that did different things, right? So there's uh, one creates a Zendesk ticket. 
Um, one looks the person up in Zendesk and in our WAG system. Uh, one determines what the, the intent from, from Lex and sends you, basically responds with a certain number it will send you to. Um, and then you know, through, the, through that gateway, we, we talked to our API in Zendesk. Um, Connect kind of tied the whole thing together. It was the glue that pulled it all together. Sorry, that's another Amazon product, but we're not using glue for this. Um, Connect tied everything together. So there's a verify Lex, which asks you to verify yourself. We just decided that we already know your, your phone number. Um, you can spoof that, so that's not 100%. So we, uh, we also ask the customer to verify their, their street address numbers. Really easy for, for Lex bots to understand numbers when you talk to them. It's like super easy. Um, then two, two different Lex, uh, Lex bots to, to understand intents from walkers and owners. So owners are just going to have different intents they call in about. They're going to want to book a walk or cancel a walk. Owners are going to call in because they're having trouble accessing someone's home or, or whatever it is, right? But there's different intents. Um, and then, you know, then Bella herself is. Um, is just a poly voice um, that, that is, is tied directly in, uh, into, um, into Connect. Um, so getting her to production, we built out kind of like a blue-green uh, flow. So, we, so you can basically have um, contact flows. And we had you know, one's called Bella Blue, one's called Bella Green. And we would work in the one that was off. And we could, you could point inactive phone numbers to it um, that, would then, that would then send, you know, uh, send your, your test call to it to make sure that everything's cool. Then you can export that and pull it into the, to the, to the live one. And, or, and, you know, sorry, cut over the, the numbers and then, and then copy it over to the, to the, to the live one. Um, we built out dashboards. Um, oh, OK. We built out dashboards. Um, so here's, uh, here's a dashboard uh, showing just kind of like different things. So this is kind of early on, so we didn't have a whole lot of volume coming in. But it was giving us missed intents, um, caught intents, um, the counts of different things, um, basically all the stuff you, you can do. We use a combination of insights, um, so querying CloudWatch logs and creating, creating these kind of graph um, views, and, and just plain old CloudWatch metrics. Did I miss something? Um, so yeah, then we updated our actual application to start sending uh, a percentage of our calls to, the, to Bella. So we started sending like you know, 5%, 10%. 20%. We're 100% cut over to Bella now. Um, and we've, we've seen really great results. About 65% of callers verify themselves. Um, so lesson so far. Robots have tough jobs. People are mean, really mean to robots. We've all done this, right? You call into like customer service, and you actually start yelling at the thing you just because you don't think anyone's going to ever hear this or whatever. I listen to what people say, not the voice, but it, it like. Bella records her missed intents and gives me a report every day. And so I see like, the, all the horrible people, all the horrible things that people say to robots. It's kind of sad. Um, so it's interesting, though, because no matter what, oh, yeah, we should be nicer to robots because Skynet. But like, no, matter, no matter what, like, we get 30% of people just asking for operator. And we have a whole bunch of different utterances for operator. Um, I won't say all of these, but these are literal things that people say that, like, that they wanted to talk to the operator, obviously, right? And so we get them over to an operator. At first, when someone asked for the operator, we would just send them right to, the, to, the, to an agent without, without trying to verify them. But we're like, well, we might as well still try and verify them. And so now we verify them, and we get that 65% number of verification. Um, so build tools. Um, you want to automate as much as possible. So we built uh, tools to, to extract the missed utterances and to upload them to like a, a spreadsheet, basically, that you can then classify. And another tool to pull in those, those new um, intents, the new utterances for to, to different intents, um, all in Python, of course, because Python's great. Um, and yeah, so that so I think that the, the automated tools have been really helpful. Um, so testing over the, over the normal phone system is relatively slow. So use the little Lex interface to to, to chat with with with, with the robot. Um, I mentioned the verification skip part. Um, and yeah, we're about 65 70% verification once we added that after it. Um, you need to constantly be iterating, monitoring, and making sure that you know, there's not a whole new thing customers are calling about and getting frustrated with. Um, but it's been really successful. So we've seen uh, upticks in CSAT, um, lower times to handle, um, lower call times all around. Um, so really, really good results. So what's next? Um, so the, currently, it's only figuring out who you are figuring out your intent of the call. Figures out if you're a VIP person and, and routes you if, if you have a certain number of walks. Um, but other than that, it's, it's just routing and verification. So the next steps are to do self-service. So be able to book a walk, cancel a walk, stuff that was in the original proof of concept. Um, and then directly connect a walker and an owner. That's a fairly common um, call request. So that's, what, that's what's coming next. We're working on that actively right now. Um, also, taking those manual utterances that are exported, and we're, we're using humans to classify them. Um, Using BERT um, or the, the new um, MT, 
GNN one, whatever that one is, the, the one that Microsoft added on top of BERT, we're going to use that to kind of automatically do it um, and automatically add them to, to Intents. That's it. Thank you. Uh, questions? Yeah, any questions? You got one over here. Where? Hi. Oh, yeah. So, uh, how did you transfer that to your agent? I mean, oh, I, I couldn't quite hear you. How did you transfer the data to your agent, like, for example? Oh, so yeah, I didn't mention that part. So th um, as, as things are happening, th there's an API I show that creates a ticket in Zendesk. So like, th it'll actually create a ticket. It stores what the intent is. It says, it says you know, quote, bracket, Bella, verified or non-verified, and then cancel walk, book walk, whatever they're calling about. And all the details also, right? Because yeah, so we say that they're verified. Ask again, right? Yeah, so, so we, we, t we say that they're verified or not in that subject. And we, we already had an integration with our API that Zendesk would just pull in user data when they called in. So it's all already in there on a sidebar application.